In the last video, I showed you me painting using the Karen Ash, um, the Good Water Soluble Wax Pastels. And they're a little bit like the Derwent um, Ink Tents. These ones are a bit more truer to the colour that they actually come out, unlike the Ink Tents where they get a bit more intense in colour. I am not paid or sponsored in any part of this video. I will put a link in the description box down below for these um, pastels. It will be an Amazon link and I may get a small commission if you decide to purchase these at no extra cost to you. So what we're going to do with this design now is do some thread painting on it. I call it thread painting. Some people may call it thread sketching. I like to do the term thread painting. And if you are the kind of person that would love to get into free motion quilting, I would highly recommend that you start thread painting. The reason why is because you have the shapes already to follow and you literally just follow each shape all these scales etc etc and I'm going to show you the process of me doing that. This is the Babel at Soprano and we're going to get this all set up and ready for free motion quilting or the thread painting like I like to do. So first of all I like to use Glide black thread. This is the Glide thread right here. I get it on the big roll and it's basically embroidery thread, but I like the look and the finish that this thread actually gives. And I will use the same thread or bobbin thread. So I'll either use this thread or bobbin thread. I think this is actually a bobbin thread that I am using in this particular tutorial. This is the white version of it, but it does come in a pack of two, the white and the black. Can't get this complete on camera, but I do use a thread stand. So I'll pop this big spool in here and then I'll hook the thread around the top and then I will connect it to my sewing machine. In order to drop the feed dogs on my sewing machine, I have to remove this arm. And at the back here, you can see this dial and you have to just flick that switch and that will drop the feed dogs. My machine also comes with a separate table and underneath here, we can raise the legs. And it also comes with the knee attachment so you can control the speed of your sewing machine if that's what you want to do. The Baby Light Soprano does come with a free motion setting and I'm going to show you what that is. So you press the setting here and you will go down, keep scrolling. It says free motion here and you can turn that to on and press OK. This is the foot that I use, so I'm going to pop this on right now. I will place a regular 9014 Microtex needle into my sewing machine. And did you notice I did not change my stitches? This becomes irrelevant at this point because you are now the feed dogs. You control your fabric going through that machine. You are now the feed dogs and you will now be moving that fabric. I threaded the needle and the machine is all ready to go. I am now going to prep the fabric. You're going to prepare yourself a quilt sandwich. So basically you have the top section of your quilt, then you place some quilt batten in the centre of that, and then you will have your quilt backing, which goes behind everything. So that is basically what a quilt sandwich is. So you've got your backing, your quilt batten, and the top. I can already see here on some of these scales where some of my markings have gone and you don't have to go it completely alone I will use a friction pen so basically I can draw back my draw in my scales again of where I want to put my thread so you just do it really it doesn't have to be neat Now 
these are just guidelines of where I want to go. You can do this with, we could do it without, it really doesn't matter. These are just suggestions. And there we go. And any other markings that you want to do, like I would like to put some pebbles down here as well. So I can just draw them in if I like. So if you don't know how to do certain things, just draw them in. It's really not cheating. You, you get into the end goal that everybody is getting to. You're just using a little bit of guidance, that's all. These pens will erase out with heat. And if they do come back, just erase them again. No. Nope. So now we're ready to go. I'm probably going to start on these leaves here and then progress on to the fish. I will be putting on my quilting gloves. These really help to give you some grip while you're doing this free motion quilting work. But for the most part, I'm not going to talk during this. I'm going to let you guys watch. As you can see this is starting to come to life the moment we put these black highlights in don't get me wrong you can use green if you want to use green i prefer this kind of sketchy look and as you can see i am not trying to stay within the lines i will go outside the lines
I'm going to do something really simple in the background. I'm going to switch out my top thread for the C and for the sand. And also I'm going to change out the bobbin thread and put in a white bobbin instead of the black bobbin. When I get to here, I'm going to go travel back over, come over again, and then I'm going to lift my presser foot up and my needle. I'm going to jump over and land back over here. And then I will just um, cut away that jump stitch later on, go forward and back again. And I'll jump, I'll take that jump stick off later on. Um, so then I'm not having to stop and start all the time. And I'm gonna do it here again. So I'll go backwards and then forwards. Lift up, come back down. Then any of these parts that we jumped over, like this one here, you can just get a pair of scissors and then just cut it away. And just go through and put them away. It's much better than stopping and starting, in my opinion. Um, but if you don't like doing that, you can just stop and start. So I'm just going to cut all these away. This is the finished piece. I love how it looks. I did like it before with just the Karen Ash paints, but it looks even better when it's thread painted. It looks more elevated. So I'm going to keep this to one side until I decide what to do with it. Please consider subscribing. I have over 500 quilting and sewing tutorials. See you in the next video.